All right, so today we're going to talk about regrouping. And regrouping is simply what we did at the beginning of the year. In the beginning of the year, we took a number and we said, oh, we've got 14 ones. And we took that 14 ones and we made that exchange. We said, okay, we're going to have one 10 and four ones. And we knew that one 10 and four ones was the same thing as 14 ones, okay? We just made a trade. So that is something that we need to remember because we're gonna be using that today. The other thing we need to remember is we always start in the ones place. We always start in the ones place. So we always go to the ones place. So when we're writing a number or we're adding, um, we always start in the ones place. So if we're adding 42 plus 13, we know this is the tens, this is ones, we always start in the ones place. Okay, and the next thing we need to remember, we need to remember three things for today's lesson. One is that 14 ones is the same thing as one ten and four ones. We need to know that we always start in the ones place. And the last thing we need to, whoops, I jumped to number three. The last thing that we need to remember is that we are doing our math facts. We do need to know those. And we need, we're going to be using what I call a think bubble. A think bubble. All right, so these are the things that we need to remember for today. All right, unfortunately, I have to erase those so that I still have room to do our math problems. Okay, now, are you ready? Because I am. I'm really excited. This is some of my very favorite math, and you know me, how much I love math. So here we go. All right, so we're going to take a number like 47, and we're going to add 39 to it. 47 plus 39. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write a T and an O above it. I would like you to get out a piece of paper and I want you to do this for me, okay? I want you to work along with me. Remember, you can hit pause and catch up and then hit play again, all right? So I have lots of space in here. I don't have it really close, okay? Because we need that room. We need lots of room. All right, so 7 plus 9. Hopefully you remember that that's 16 because it's just like 10 plus 9 is 7, and then 1 less is 16. Remember, we have to know those addition strategies if we don't know our math facts. So we have our think bubble. Remember we talked about that? Here's the think bubble. We have 16. Well, here's our 10s and here's our 1s. So this is basically telling us that this number is going to go in the 1s place, and then this group of 10, we need to regroup and put it at the top. Okay, because we can't put it in the ones because it is in the tens place. It's in that tens column. All right, so then we have four plus three, which we know is seven, and one more is eight. So our answer 47 plus 39 is 86. All right, let's do another one. Let's do 27 plus 38. All right, 27 plus 38. If you don't know 7 plus 8, you should have already thought 7 plus 7, a double fact, is 14, and 1 more is 15. So we can write 15 in our double fact. Remember, you need to be writing this down as we're going through this, okay? That will help you learn it and help you remember. So we have, in the ones place, we have a 5, those 5 ones. And in our tens place, we have a group of 10 that we had to regroup. So now we're going to have 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 more is 6. So 27 plus 38 is 65. All right, very good. All right, we're going to do one more. Oh, I love this math. I hope you love it as much as I do. So excited to this time of the year. Yes. All right, here we go. It's a little bit challenging, but it's so much fun because now it opens up so many doors to how many more math problems that you can do. Oh, and Mr. Gross is going to love that. All right, here we go. But remember, be neat. Remember how important he told us that was to be neat? we got to be neat, keep our numbers lined up. All right, let's try it again. We're going to do 58 plus, let's do 18. 58 plus 18. Oh, this is going to be easy because we know our double facts. All right, double facts. 8 plus 8 we know is 16. We know in the ones place we're going to write a 6. 
And in the tens place, we're going to take that group of 10 and we're going to regroup it up here into the group of 10. And we're going to say 5 plus 1 is 6 and 1 more is 7. So 58 plus 18 equals 76. Okay, I can't stop there. i got to do another one. Just one more. I can hear you laughing at me right now. Oh, Mrs. Gross. But seriously, i got to do another one. I can't help it. I love this math. All right, we're going to do another one. Let's try 89 plus... Nine. Yikers! I didn't even put one there in the tens place, but that's okay. We know how that's all right. So nine plus nine is a double fact again. We know that is 18. I'm glad you knew that. So in the ones place, we're going to write an eight, and in the tens place, we're going to regroup a one. So eight plus one is nine, plus nothing is nine. So 89 plus nine is 98. Okay. Can't do it. I gotta do one more. I can't stop. I can't stop. Didn't we do a song like that? Can't stop this feeling. Oh, I know, Mrs. Gross, you're nuts. I know, but we're going to do one more. Okay, I promise. This will be our last one for today. Okay, we're going to do, how about 74 plus 18. 74 plus 18. Okay, here we go. Let's make it so good. You know what? I'm going to wait just a second. I'm going to give you a second to see if you can solve this one without me. I'll solve it with you. We'll go over it, but I'm going to give you just a second. But if you notice, see how my numbers are all lined up? Be neat, as Mr. Gross would tell us. Okay, I'm going to count to five. Just give you just a second to see if you can do it. Okay, I can't wait any longer. I counted to five. Might have been a little fast. Sorry. You can always hit pause if you need to. Four plus eight. We know that eight plus four, I hope you knew that it was 12. So we know in the ones place, I'm going to write a two. And in the tens place, I have to regroup. Seven, eight, nine. 74 plus 18 is 92. The hardest part about this math, and it's not hard, but the hardest part about this math is realizing that this number, the ones number, goes down in the answer. And this is the number we have to regroup. And it goes up there at the top. Okay? All right. I know you're going to do great. I'm going to give you just a couple little math problems to try on your own and submit to me. Not hard, not very many, all right? And then we're going to review some time.